welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is DB43 here, as always. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Long J here, who was a 2012 Cars 2 Super Chase. It's nice to get a nice little change of pace from the 2018 cars and some Cars 3 cars sometimes and focus more on some of the cars that were released back then. And I'm reviewing this, and I have acquired this because I did buy it online. I figured a bunch of you guys would really like to see a review on Long J here because there's not actually really that many reviews of Long J on YouTube. I looked it up, and there's only like four, which isn't that much. So I really did want to review Long J, and I was already going to plan on reviewing Long J whenever I acquired him because he just looks super cool and a lot of people may not know where Long J exactly appears in the Cars 2 movie and how all the Cars 2 super chases came to be. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video and we're also going to be reviewing Long J of course. Now as you guys can probably see by his design, I'm not sure if you can tell, but his design kind of tells you that he appeared in the Chinese version of Cars 2. He's a Chinese like, he appeared like the international version of Cars 2, the Chinese version. Of Cars 2, he replaces Jeff Corvette at the Tokyo part, but we'll talk more about that later on in the video. But for now, let's go into a little overview of him in the package, a box, and then I'm going to unbox him and then review him loose as always. So let's get right into this, shall we? So as you guys see, we have Long J right there in white text on the black name tag right there. This is how the Cars 2 packaging worked out. Now he actually is on international packaging, Chinese packaging too, because you can see the Chinese lettering. Now Chinese lettering is drastically different from American lettering. For those people who live in America, you probably are very used to the American type of style. So you plus myself is definitely finding all of this Japanese language to be weird because we're not used to it. But I do find it kind of cool and it is very unique and I'd be very love I would really like to be in interested in this later on probably I mean it'd be super cool to learn I mean it does look really cool in my opinion and you can see a nice art of Long J right there and you can see the Super Chase logo in Japanese lettering Cars 2 in Japanese lettering and the background is a port of course to Italy on the back, we just see a picture of Long J. Right here, I'm not exactly sure what it says, but I think on other Car 2 packages, right up there it says collect them all, so I guess that's what it says in Japanese lettering. And right here, it does say that Super Chase vehicles are limited to no more than 4,000 units produced. And also, it also tells you right here, as seen in the Chinese version of the movie, aka Chinese version of Cars 2. Alright, enough talking, and let's unbox Long J. Alright guys, so we have Long J here, unboxed, he is looking great, and now if you guys remember back in 2017, in the summer of 2017, I also acquired a 2012 Super Chase, and that one was Frosty, and obviously, Max Chanel is here as well, because he does share the same body type as Max Chanel, so we will be comparing Long J to Frosty and Max Chanel later on in the video, but for now, let's get right into the review of Long J here and his decals. So as you guys see, he has a very determined expression facial expression his mouth is closed and he's looking very determined right there with the blue eyes and the flat eyelids right there you can see a nice little logo on his hood which probably represents like his chinese culture i think it represents it very well and i like how it's kind of like faded like it's not like in full color it's like this very faded color but you're still able to see it very well you have a tiny little yellow star star right there you have his grill which represents mustaches in the cars universe his headlights on the side of here the yellow star is shown a lot more bigger and it goes onto the window and a lot more of like his paint scheme and design goes onto the window as well i like that a lot i really do like that detail and it's probably one of my favorite decals on long day here because there's not really many cars is where the decals go onto the windows so I found that pretty nice his rear view mirrors are plastic and they are this nice black sort of color here's his rims pretty basic but it's still very nice and we are probably all used to seeing lighter tires on racers well obviously since he's not a piston cup racer he's not gonna have lighter tires so it's a nice change of pace you can see more Chinese lettering and stuff on the hood right here, and the roof, and the sides, and even the back right here, right before the spoiler. Speaking of the spoiler, it is pretty plain, no decals on it, but it does have these nice gray side wing things, whatever you want to call it, but other than that, it's pretty plain. And on the back right here, he has no license plate, nothing except for the taillights, which are very small to see, but you can just see them. They're kind of hidden, but you're still able to see them. And he also has a black base with some Mattel coating and information and stuff like that. Like I said before, Long J here was released back in 2012 as a Cars 2 Super Chases. And, and the other 
all the other Super Chasers were from races that appeared in other international versions of cars too. So we had Long J here, Frosty back here, and three others which I don't have, which are Mimo Rojas Jr., Vidley Petrov, and Flash. So hopefully I can acquire them one day. Since I acquired Long J and Frosty, those are the only two I have for now. But like I said before, he only appeared in the Chinese version of Cars 2 in one scene. He replaced Jeff Corvette in the Tokyo party scene. You guys remember the scene when McQueen met Lewis and Jeff at the Tokyo party and he saw them and then they're saying hi to each other and they're greeting each other. Well, Long J here replaces Jeff Gravette in the Chinese version of Cars 2 and you might be wondering why would they do that? It just seems like a waste of money to add an extra character. Well, as you guys know, Jeff Corvette is based off of Jeff Gordon, who's an American NASCAR racer, or former, because I think he retired by now, I'm not sure. But anyway, Jeff Gordon is an American racer. He's based off of that car, um, person in real life. So people in international countries aren't going to be familiar with Jeff Gordon. So they replace Jeff with a car that is probably based off of a racer in that country. So I assume Long Day here is based off of a Chinese racer in like real life, and so people in China... China would be familiar with him more, and I hopefully I made sense. Of course, he can never be re-released. He's a super chase, and only 4,000 were made. We do not know if that's true or not, but Mattel did put it on the back of the packages, so it is possible that only 4,000 of these are made. But even if only 4,000 of these are made, that is a really big number, if, like, if you really think about it. But nonetheless, here he is compared to Frosty and Max Chanel. All of the 2012 Super Chases did were based off of Max Chanel's body style. Some of them had the same expression, but some of them actually had different expressions. Like, for example, as you guys can see right here, Long J and Frosty both had different expressions from Max. And I do like when Mattel puts that effort into it like that. Let me know in the comment section down below who do you prefer for, out of these three, Long J, Frosty, or Max Chanel. Make sure to leave a comment down below. So that is pretty much going to be it for my review of Long J right here. Hopefully everyone did watch, enjoy this video, and thank you guys all so much for your crazy support recently. I really do appreciate all of you guys who watch my videos, and I have a lot of fun every single time making them for you guys. So I'll see you guys all next time in the next video. Peace out. See you later.